So hello, from the Pomfret booth, I'm Patrick, and I'm giving you a little bit of overview of uh, the new version 4 of LifeGrade. Um, LifeGrade is a software that lets you manipulate the live image of a camera signal. So in that case, we have the signal from an F55 over there, and actually is as simple as, as controlling the live signal and getting an updated a different look of the image. You do that for previewing purposes, this is one thing. For example, to change lighting when you look through the image through a digital look. And the other thing is um, that you use this look to get it into editor um, dailies creation for editorial. So that would be the second purpose why you would want to prepare and change looks on a film set. We cleaned up our the way we store look information and, and metadata. So what we call now a shot table is where you, you store looks that have been created over a shooting day. So for example, one shot per scene or for a certain setup, you create a few looks. These are stored here. Um, let me switch. So you would try to like match it with clip names, for example, so you get matching back for the editorial creation then, uh, the dailies creation then later. Um, and there is a new area for look presets, so that would be imported looks, like from pre-production or from a colorist from post earlier that you use as a starting point for your, for your grading. Um, what is new is this tab bar, what we call it, like a slot, uh, where the slots for each camera are. Uh, if you expand them, you see that all these cameras A and B have live images. They are captured with an AJ um, IO 4K in that case. So we have live image in the software. And that allows us also something new that is scopes. So there is um, a new, new scope area here. And as soon as I change the, the grade here, I see the, the result of the, of the grade immediately in that in that area where the scopes is. The one new thing that we added to LifeGrid 4 is camera metadata. So in that case, we have an Alexa Mini and a Sony F55. And I will change now the focus of the camera. And you see that the focus distance instantly changes in the user interface. So the idea is that you have, like here, a, a kind of a dashboard of all the camera metadata um, which is especially interesting if you have multiple cameras um, that you can easily check are they all the same ISO, um, what frame rates are they set to. So this is an easy access to, to camera configuration without like having to be on the, on the talkie all the time. Um, and then one last thing is, uh, so if you do, if you have all these clips stored uh, that um, over a shooting day, you can use them as references and output them to SDI. So this is now two SDI signals shown side by side in that monitor. One is the direct, um, the direct signal that's graded with a box IO lot box, and the other one is the one that's stored before, so that can be used to matching, matching looks. Uh, from the live camera to something that you've stored before, or you pick up a scene that you've shot three, three, three days before, or something like that. So there's a reference uh, capability of outputting reference to SDI, independent of what you grade, and have a comparison outside. I think that's more or less the most important things for LiveGrade 4. Thank you very much. Yeah.